Well, now I'm ready to start adding activities. But before I do that, I want to set up my calendars so that as I add activities, they're assigned to good calendars. To set up my project calendars, I want to go to Enterprise Calendars. This is the first exposure we have to global and project information. Global calendars, you can see I have a few here, and project calendars. Now what's important to know about calendars? A global calendar is available to everyone on the enterprise. A project calendar is a calendar that's assigned specifically to this project. Understanding global and project calendars is very important. If I have global calendars and I've assigned them to activities in my schedule and another user of our enterprise goes in and makes changes to that calendar, it will affect my projects. So it's very important if you want to keep your project calendars strictly for the use of your project so that changes you make will not impact other project schedules or changes made in other project schedules will impact this schedule, make sure you're using project calendars. Now to do that, I simply can say add. My global calendars pop up. I'm going to add a working day calendar. I'm going to go ahead and use my trades five day work week calendar. I'm going to call it working days. And when I go to modify it, this is going to show no work on Sunday and no work on Saturday. This is a five day work week calendar that I want to add holidays into it. So I can highlight December 25, say non-work, December 26, non-work, January, Martin Luther King, non-work, February, President's Day, non-work. I can go through my calendar and assign these holidays so that my activities, when they fall on those particular days, will not count those days as working days. So you can go through your calendar and set these non-work days. There is my working day calendar. Let's add another one for calendar days because many of the activities that you have will need to count weekends. For example, if you're pouring concrete and you need to allow time for concrete curing, you'll need to add a calendar that counts every day. Call this calendar days. I'll modify it. Notice Sunday and Saturday are still blocked off. To change that, I go into my work week and I'll change Sunday to an eight hour day and Saturday to an eight hour day. Now notice all of my days are set as a standard day. In other words, all days are counted. You'll have more problems with activities and schedules if you don't set your calendars up right. By selecting the details or the work hours, I can select what times of day that these calendars will count. This is where you need to be very careful. If I show one activity assigned to a calendar that finishes at 4 in the afternoon and its successor is assigned to a different calendar that works till 5, that successor will show starting the same day that this activity finishes. Actually, you can't see it, but it would show starting at 4.01 p.m. And all of a sudden, your dates will be off. So it's very important that you're very consistent in your calendar structure and how you set those up to cause less confusion. So now I have two calendars, working days and calendar days. Now you'll notice my calendar starts on Sunday. I can customize that, closing my calendar, go to admin, admin preferences. On my general tab, I can set the first day of the week to be Monday. Then when I go back into my calendars and I select this calendar, notice that Monday now is the start of the week and it ends on Sunday. So with my calendar set up, I have one other thing to do. I'm going to go back to my project screen, go to my projects, my defaults tab, and I want to set my five-day work week as my standard calendar. You'll notice when I select my calendar button, it pulled my global calendars up. This is very typical in the Windows and P6. If you pull up a window 
that doesn't have the information that you think should be showing in nearly all of your P6 windows, there's a pull down at the top where you can select what you want to view. In this case, I want to view my project calendars, and there is my working day calendar. I select it, and it is now my default. So when I add activities to my schedule, they will automatically be assigned by default to the working day calendar. Now I'm ready to start adding activities.